Abcari is an Alberta-wide initiative to bring innovative research uh, from the bench to the bedside uh, for the benefit of those living with prostate cancer. Abcari is the uh, Alberta Prostate Cancer Research Initiative. The goal of Abcari is to bring all the knowledge that we've amassed in the laboratory and, and utilize that to create new innovative tests so that patients and physicians have that information, can feel more confident about their treatment decisions, and that will improve outcomes and quality of life for people living with prostate cancer. Many men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer and will die of other uh, different diseases and not from prostate cancers. Many patients um, do not need treatment. But there are some other patients who do need treatment, and if they're not treated, they will uh, develop metastatic disease, which is the deadliest aspect of prostate cancer. One of the big problems we have today is that men are over-treated um, because we do not have accurate tests to identify which men will actually die of their disease. And one of our fundamental objectives of this project is to try to, to identify that select subset who actually need treatment. The real history with prostate cancer is that uh, we haven't had any new diagnostic tests for prostate cancer in the last 30 years. Really a, a, a critical part of developing a new diagnostic or prognostic test for prostate cancer is to have excellent biosamples with excellent clinical data. Biomarkers are an important tool that we use to actually start to develop new diagnostics. So the philosophy in our program is that there will be something different in the biology of somebody who has, has cancer and somebody who doesn't have cancer. And so what we try to do is we try to tease out with very advanced methodologies what these essential differences are. Our efforts during the, the next three to five years will be to detect this molecular switch uh, in patient tissue, in blood and potentially in urine to create a non-invasive test to be able to predict in patients who will develop aggressive disease and, and who will have non-aggressive disease. So one of the main focuses of our research initiative is to create a state-of-the-art biorepository and clinical registry uh, that, that will not only serve us for the near future to develop tests that we can rapidly translate to the clinic, but also for the future so we can look at new genomic tests uh, and new multi-omic tests that will allow us to generate panels that will much more accurately and much more personally predict uh, an individual patient's outcome for prostate cancer. We have a wonderful team of over 100 members locally. It is important for us to have such an enormous collaboration because um, every single member of the team brings, brings its own expertise and experience and together it guarantees that the team is strong enough to be able to translate uh, our findings to the clinic. This is not something that you really can do in isolation. You must work with a number of individuals, ideally in other institutions. And so this is where I have linked up with Apkari to try and participate with them as a member to investigate biomarkers of prostate cancer and make a change in how we both diagnose as well as treat patients. If we want to confirm that these are going to be definitive in terms of diagnosis and prognosis, our numbers have to be in the thousands. 95% of the men, if they're treated early, will not get the prostate cancer to a metastatic state. Men need to take charge of their own health. They need to not be afraid to ask questions. They need to know that the present tools are available to assess whether or not you have prostate cancer and the status of it. And that uh, given that theme, then the sooner you deal with it effectively, the better you are off. The group of volunteers that have been dubbed the bird dogs, they have successfully been responsible for raising $14 million to date to help to launch um, what has now become the AppCarry program. You see the work, you see the accomplishments, the skill. Um, how can you not support a program like this when we so believe in their work and you see um, how accomplished and how passionate they are. It's not just a job, it's about making a difference to patients who face prostate cancer. Our, our challenges over the next three to five years are to recruit as many patients as we can into the clinics here, uh, to collaborate extensively with international partners, uh, and to raise the funds necessary in order to drive this research into the clinic.